Uh, we looked at skills, digital literacy, and cultures of learning. Uh, basically, what we tried to do was to get from participants uh, different perspective in terms of what ongoing research is happening in different parts of the world and to see if there is a general understanding or take on the whole concept of what constitutes digital literacy. And uh, of course, we looked at the different platforms of learning, whether it's the uh, social media platform or other internet platform, blogs and uh, MOOCs, the massive online course and, and so on. And, and that's just, uh, then of course, we talked about uh, the next steps forward in terms of uh, promoting globally the whole idea of digital literacy. I think the basic highlight was uh, the idea of not reinventing the wheel because we agreed, we talked about the issue of a digital divide, for example, but also how do we solve that? And there was the issue of uh, building uh, a digital bridge, you know, between so-called global north and south, but also even in the global north between different social backgrounds and so on. I think one of the things that came out, which is what UNESCO is already doing in the area of media and information literacy, is to build a global alliance. So we talked about the need to develop a global alliance on either youth, or youth and digital literacy, or a global alliance on internet and society, something along that line, where we would have a global framework which people can then now use in their different countries. You know, I think that, for me, was uh, the basic highlights of uh, the session that I participated in. What I talked about before for, for us constitutes the major next step, which is how do we bring people on a global level who are working on the area of digital literacy? Because one, we have to have common indicators. We have to have common agreement on what constitutes digital literacy. So I think the major, major first step is to see if we can get uh, the major stakeholders around the world together to form a global alliance, whether you in the area, whether you call it a global alliance for partnership on digital literacy. What then follows from that is to develop global media, li uh, digital literacy indicators. And from there, we can develop national framework of action to see how countries can begin to implement digital literacy because one of the things that came out of the session was that there are a lot of things going on in different parts of the world, whether it's at the level of teachers, whether it's at the level of students, schools, formal and informal education, but there's really no research or no coordinated effort. So people are doing things at random, so to say, they're doing it the way they can. And so we need to be able to bring all of this together, you know, provide guidelines and policies for, whether it's for teachers, whether it's for government, because every stakeholder, government, teachers, students, has a role to play. So we need to develop a global framework that countries and even individuals can implement locally and set the guidelines and parameters to, uh, to develop digital literacy. Mm -hmm.